Hi guys, so I'm here today to talk to you about pacifiers. Are they good? Are they bad? And what do they have to do with sleep? So let's talk about them. So first of all, the AAP actually recommends pacifiers for prevention of SIDS. So they definitely have some great, great qualities that you can use, um, you know, for your infant when they're really little. Um, pacifiers start to become a problem when kids depend on them when they're going to sleep or when they wake up in the night and it falls out and they need that to be able to get back to sleep. So really the important thing is you can use pacifiers, but you have to schedule some other times during naps or at nighttime sleep for your child to independently learn their sleep skills and their own self-soothing strategies. Because if they depend only on the pacifier to be able to fall asleep, just like you know, nursing or a bottle, when it falls out of their mouth in the night or during the nap, they're going to wake up and you're gonna to have to either go put it back in their mouth or I remember standing over the crib, you know, and holding it in their mouth, you know, and then they're not learning, you know, it might self-soothe them, they might fall back to sleep, but then two hours later, it's just going to continue to happen and it's an endless cycle. So pacifiers, use them, don't let them become a prop, you know, still teach your child independent skills and definitely self-soothing skills so they can put their self to sleep on their own. A pacifier might be good if they wake up early from a nap or if they wake up in the night and didn't have a pacifier and you can use it to soothe them back to sleep. You know, there's definitely really positive things that come from pacifiers, but you shouldn't depend on it for them to, to put them to sleep. They can't, or they'll never learn how to naturally go to sleep on their own and learn those skills for life. I hope this helps.